Welcome Warzone players to a brand new chapter in the Warzone saga. Season 2 Reloaded is here and it comes with a game changing addition to your arsenal. It's called the Bunker Buster Killstreak. In this video, we're deep diving into the new killstreak that's set to revolutionize the way you play. A tool designed to shake up really the Warzone and force players out of their comfort zone. The Bunker Buster Killstreak is not just a game changer, it's potentially an end game shift. Imagine the rush you'll get as you call in this devastating missile, flushing out those exclusive rat players from their hiding spot. Because for too long, Warzone has been plagued by players camping in buildings, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. But with the Bunker Buster, that changes. No longer can you hide away, safe from the chaos outside. The Bunker Buster forces you in the open, leveling the player field for all. The introduction of the Bunker Buster completely shifts the meta. It's not just about holding down buildings anymore. It's about adapting to the chaos of the battlefield. Pro players will need to rethink their strategies, incorporating more movement and agility to the gameplay. And bot can either stay there and die, or they gotta move. I don't know what the warning will be like when it comes up. You know, the teams that are in the corner with their 17 mines set up, laughing their heads off their right shields, thinking that the best cracked demons in the game may no longer exist. Finally, right? No longer can you rely solely on your tactical positioning. You must adapt and be ready to move and engage because this kill streak may change it or it may not because we don't really know yet. Will it work? It really won't know until it comes out and we can test it. But I can tell you one thing. I'll accept death easier if I die to a bunker buster than a PA going off in a building and killing you three levels through concrete and stairs and just no reason you should be dying till P8 times because no one likes that. But I don't see this kill streak being used in ranked. It may be a little bit overpowered. We we really don't know if you can buy it from the buy station, if it's a rare kind of drop from a box, if you can only get it from a black site. We're really not going to know until we try and just load up a game and find out. I am hoping this is a great update for the casual to seasoned veterans because the response in the community is really, really split. Players are really excited about the changes or the potential changes that can change the end game. And other players are worried that it's gonna be way too strong and you might instantly die. You know, will it give a warning like the PA? Yeah, it's, it's a matter of for yourself and how it comes on the Reloaded. This video is going out basically when the update goes out. I'm really excited to see it in action. My, pretty much my goal for my next game live will be in solos, just trying to devastate someone in a building or even just play Team, um, I can already foresee dropping the, the bunker buster on a team of four and just annihilating everyone. It'll be pretty funny when you think about it. So whether you're a new player or a pro, or you think you're a pro and you're in the middle, season two related and the bunker buster are really sure to keep you on the edge of your seat because you can no longer pitch a tent in a building. Well, you can, but I'm hoping that this just flushes people out. But think about the good players that stay in the middle of the map and they pretty much dominate the end game circle. Or there's one building and you got multiple levels and you got someone on the roof, someone down the bottom and even in between. And then a bunker buster comes down. It, it could really, really change the game. I really do enjoy the fact that Call of Duty are bringing out new kill streaks. Like they have really changed from Warzone 1, 2 and 3. You know, what was it originally? It was the mortar strike or the cluster strike now. You know, a few times you feel like it chased you. Now it just feels like the splash damage is bigger on it. The PA has been pretty good. At first, I liked on the map that the PA calmed down, you know, showed you the direction. I get it. It helps people. It does help me a lot. I actually survive a lot more, but I do miss the fact that you can throw it down. You run into the PA, no notification, and it hits you. I actually personally believe that with a precision and a cluster strike, there should be friendly fire on that. You should be able to hit, hit your team and damage them because there's too much of a safe play where you throw down a precision airstrike, your teams run in and they wipe people and you gotta stay behind. When realistically, you shouldn't have it like that. And I understand that people can grief, but there are just consequences for people that are griefing. Let me know what you really think because there are a few changes in the map. You know, the, the cluster mines, they also should be a little bit of friendly fire. I know a lot of people won't agree with this, but I do think that there should be big changes to the game like that because it will really change the way that people play. And with the addition of the Bunker Buster, you know, you could you could see some friendly fire. Another one, now that we're on the word of kill streaks, I could see like a big, huge EMP kind of kill streak coming in. I remember a few war, not war zones, sorry, Call of Duty's back. It was an EMP that kind of 
you know, reduce your HUD, took away your little red dot and that. That would be a pretty good idea. Uh, maybe, you know, you shoot it, you know how you can shoot up the air. You know how you can shoot the drone up in the air. Maybe the EMP goes up in the air, explodes over a period of, say, like a UAV circle, lasts for 30 seconds. That could be also a game changer. But it's about time we get some changes in this game, and Reloaded seems like to be the good changes, because the Bunker Buster could really, really change the game. So in conclusion, I'm really hoping that Season 2 with the Bunker Buster is going to reshape the landscape of the Warzone, because players are going to be pushed to the limits, and it's kind of going to demand a new level of skill and strategy at the end. And it's either adapt and survive or die. So, look, the pros are going to have to change up their play, the bots are going to have to change up their play, and I think everyone's just going to have to stay on their toes a little bit longer. But chaos and carnage at the start before people get used to this, I'm telling you what, day one's going to be hilarious. Anyway, let's watch the rest of this game. Hit the like for me, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. God. I didn't shoot though the first time I shot him. He was waiting for this uh, other guy. I feel like I got lucky then with the shot. Look down him. Can't see him. Hey, hey train, I'm telling you. Come on, stop being a shitter. A train. Bro, it's A train. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He moves faster. Yeah, it's A to win. You can tell. Zone. You can tell. I swear, I'm not talking shit. He moves so quick, that character. Unless someone's ghosted, I don't think anyone's in here. My trap. My trap, man. Better to get him out than to... You're almost done here. That is the most yeah, laggy out. kill I've ever, I've ever done. Oh, shit. Uh, that was a laggy kill. Win for some Uber Eats? Oh man, I'm hungry. I would love some Uber Eats. Nah, pay to win. I miss that, I miss that. Gas is inbound, marking a new safe zone. Cook me a meal? You're in the wrong country. The 
advised. Enemies deploy to buy station. GG 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 That was a good game